Hi, hi. Still me. Nico. Yeah, that just sounds better. We're going to keep going with that one. Okay, so um, I was thinking about my cousin uh, last night. No, the, the day before yesterday because I was talking to my, cousin, my other cousin. And we were reminiscing about a cousin of ours who passed away. And um, <laughs> we were just, I don't know, we, we just used to talk shit all the time about everything. And we used to call each other out on the harder things in life, you know? Like, I... I don't date. I don't know how. I don't even know what I'm doing it. Um, I, I, I was a kid and I kind of got engaged and then he was a psychopath and that didn't happen. Then I got kind of outlaw married to my first husband and then we got legally married. We had three kids and then um, I had a life for a minute and then I got another husband and uh, we had a kid and um, while he and I were together, it doesn't matter, sorry Dave, whatever, um, I was seeing someone else and I fell in love with this crazy guy, you know, like he was someone, he, he knew me, he was inside and out, we were like the same person, just he had the bits that I find sexy. I don't find this so sexy. It's, you know, I'm a straight chick, and that's just kind of how that works. Um, um, so, yeah, Juan used to make all these bad, bad jokes about me because I am a terrible dater. I don't know when I'm doing it, and when I'm not doing it, I'm... A catch and release kind of girl because I don't want to get invested I don't want to put my heart into it and I don't want to fall the way that I did the last time because the last time I didn't come back up in the same way and you know so my cousin and uh, my cousins and I agreed on uh, <laughs> a sad fact about life where I am so bad at relationships that the only thing I win at in relationships is the breakup because uh, so far they have always been epic and I have always been like yeah and you just lost the best thing you ever had and they yeah I know and then I can slam the door happily um <laughs> so uh his genius way of uh dealing with my crushes is that because uh, I have obnoxious crushes and I will fixate on them because I know it's absolutely ridiculous and it's never going to happen so my cousin and I made a list of future ex-husbands to be this way it could keep me from dating anyone because my excuse for not dating anyone is that I, I have a long list and um, I've got to get to that list you know what I mean uh, so I have a list of future ex-husbands to be and it changes from time to time. People age out of the system. People get married. People, you know, become less and less attractive. Um, so it's ever-changing normally. But I added it into the book, and so it's the last couple of pages of the book. It's really funny uh, if you want to read how my life would look if I were a caricature of myself and had all these high intensity relationships with these really amazing artists and then you'll see I mean for fuck's sake Johnny Depp leaves me for a younger woman um, Tom Sturridge I want to say leaves me for for uh, deviant sexual practices after a BDSM uh, 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 remember the name. Cruz. Oh my god. <sighs> so yeah, we get into a fetish cruise or whatever and then, you know, I get home and I get served with papers citing my deviant sexual practices and how he's afraid of me and uh, yeah. 
So it's really, really according to like real life. It, it would be how stupid my breakups would be because my, my breakups are normally pretty stupid. But then again, I'm not one to say anything because I'm hardly ever. I hardly ever acknowledge when I'm seeing people. I don't, I don't date. So when a person has been around a couple of times, I guess they think we're dating. Uh, the only one that I find that is valid, and he made his point validly, is like he he, he made his point in year five that uh, we were dating. And the reason why that didn't take off too well in the beginning is because I had a fiance and I had a husband, and I had a kid. You know, like, dude, no. Uh, and then it was, uh, I kicked out the husband, and we're just still continuing that. I just never figured, it, why would it switch tracks? I don't think in those, and I don't even see it when it's coming. I don't I don't see it when uh, I'm being flirted with. I, I don't see it when a guy is, like, into me. I, I don't know what that's about. I, I can see it for everyone else. I can fix everyone else's life. I can do everything perfectly for everyone else. I know exactly what needs to be done. For me, I don't even know what's going on at all. I hardly even know what's going inside my head at any given moment in time. Because probably because I'm planning for things constantly. So I'm just constantly in planning mode. That I just never stop to see what's actually going on. I guess. If that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs>